This is a HeadGum Original. Marika, is that co- Oh. A root beer. Diet Coke. I'm spiraling good for nothing type of Jeffrey. Uh, I'm not doing well emotionally. I'm kind of feeling lonely in New York. That has to be the furthest from the truth. Who fucking cares? Because we're going to get the party started. Nobody cares. Nobody. (laughs) This isn't your fucking vlog, man. Let's get the show started. (laughs) (laughs) that was really me reaching out that was really me reaching out absolutely not don't do it mustard in my hair i'm falling apart (laughs) here and there Mm, don't know that one (laughs) that was an original familiar yo play style yeah. Should we do a yogurt cast? What are you saying? <laughs> introduce Ferris. We've Obviously got Ferris introduce fucking Ferris. Manchi on the show. In <laughs> what the- up, y'all? Yeah. Good to be back. Good to be back. Let's uh don't call it a rare comeback. occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Cause huh? he never went a- yeah, he didn't go anywhere. Up go up beside it. My first true experience with that sound clip. <laughs> <laughs> The, times I've, the, the amount game. of times I've heard that thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that audio clip is like, uh, you know that image that's, it's of nothing, but it's like, this is what stroke victims see or something like that. <laughs> and you're like, what? It, everything looks familiar, but isn't anything? That's the <laughs> audio equivalent. Like, it sounds like a word I would know, but it's not. And every time you play it, I think I'm going to figure it out. And I never do. Yeah, it's something you you'd hear the paramedic saying as you're having a stroke. Right, exactly. And you're I like, "Up, up, a solid. Up, 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 a solid. No, it really is an honor to have. Uh, it, it's a honor, really, to have Manchi back uh, mm. on the show. It's been too long, and here we are. Uh, the honor's namaste. mine. Um, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> <Up the bump. laughs> how <laughs> how are you uh how are you feeling how are you doing what's new and rife i meant to say strife or life and ended up being rife which means you're we're rife with a manchi right now yeah a day a day in my life a day in the strife if you will yeah. um not much man i guess the only new thing going on with me is i'm taking computer science courses which i never thought i'd be doing with my life um do you guys think that you can become a math person like late in life? <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I, I really don't think so. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I think you can. I my roommate. It's not like late in life, but my roommate was like an English major and now does coding. That's like her main job. So I feel like wow, you can make a change. Speaking as a math person that decided to not become a math person, interesting. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but now it feels feasible. Can we can we make the discernment though? Did you enjoy math, or did you just happen to be good at it? Because I feel like that's two different types of math people. Uh huh. I it was both until I got to college when I took college math classes that didn't involve numbers at all and then i was like no by this is excruciating and also like all my roommates were math majors that were good and really cared about it and i was like bad and frustrated all the time and didn't want to do homework for seven hours a week plus so when the letters get involved it does get a little choppy yeah but i did yesterday i was writing a joke movie review uh and relearned set theory really quickly to try and make my review a proof. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. So nerd. The, math, the math never really leaves the heart, does never, it? You're a nerd. It never leaves you. I am a nerd for sure. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so that's what's up with me. Math people, anyone else? Major key alert. Sense yeah. when the conversation <laughs> needs new direction. You know, like... I think what we've just seen for? is a cautionary tale. It's for all. It's for the listener, but you're sort of the example of what not to do. Does that make sense? <laughs> no. Manchi, how's that cock of yours? How's you your sex life? I should say, and maybe as a tamer way of asking, <laughs> are you seeing anyone? <laughs> So start with the tamer way of saying it. <laughs> Don't go X-rated and pull back. I, I, you know what? I wanted yeah. to gauge the response because maybe, maybe you guys would have loved the first way I said it. I did. It made us all uncomfortable to see you put Ferris in sort of a checkmate position to have to do something with that question. After you lambasted me for talking about math. You decided to switch gears so drastically. From bombastically to drastically. <laughs> that Major was easy. Alert. Sorry, yeah. that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but no, but actually, how's your how's your romance um, sector? Let's call it. Oh God. Um, well, he's taking computer science classes, so I think that answers it. it truly... Quite asked and answered. Truly, well, it could it. be to get like a really high paying job so that you can kind of get the woman of your dreams. <laughs> Is that it's not really what it's for? <laughs> but you think the woman uh, of Ferris's dreams would only be with him if he had a programming yeah, job? That's kind of what seem I'm like. That's not really a woman right. to be dreamt about. Let's it's rein kind of it in. Shallow. Let's bring it in. <laughs> We've all had our fun razzing Jeff, but let's all get on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, uh, I don't like dating apps. I gotta say. And yeah, are you on it field? Feels like, huh? No, <laughs> I'm on none of them, man. I'm he on none of them. He doesn't like him, yeah. <laughs> but field is but, different. But it feels like that's, um, I don't know. Maybe that's part of the problem is that everyone is on them. So it's mm. just, everyone's on them, but then that's why it's tough for everyone to get dates. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't even done it in a while. It's just such you need a, a waste dating of time. App for people it that don't like, like dating apps. You guys made a dating app, though. Yeah, you should I'll get try. on Orion. I, I, would, I would try Try that Orion out. For, out for a spin. I think, try Orion. I think you'll like the results. Yeah. Jeff, have you <laughs> spoken about your recent Raya membership on the oh, podcast? Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you guys don't want to hear me talk about this. <laughs> Can you invite me to Raya? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Can I get it's an invite? Like, I fear that you'll get it sooner than I did, which it took me two years. And then, like, it'll sort of... What do you mean it of... took you two years? You applied once, and then two years later they said you're in? Or you kept applying every month for 25 months? Either way, you're a fucking loser. So don't, like, try to figure out which one is the right answer. Did you apply once or did you apply <laughs> 20 the times? worst face. <laughs> you're anemic to hear that even... <laughs> Asked of He's you. He's fading fast. You look He's more so pale. pale. <laughs> How are you losing blood? blood You're just yeah. sitting down. Um, I applied once. I got friend passes from my friend Marielle and from my friend Melanie Bracewell. Uh, she's been on the show. And um, <laughs> no avail. And, uh, you know, that's sort of surprising. Friend passes, by the way, are like, we vouch for you and nearly 100% acceptance based on just those two things alone, <laughs> let alone two people. <laughs> uh, so you fluid, got those two you know? things that they said no. <laughs> the tough then part of it is like you get one, it, you know, your chances are probably in the 80s, you know, 80%. You get two, you yeah. should be on within a week. <laughs> Took me two yeah, years. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's hard in my life. So, but you're on it, so it's not hard, and you could vouch for me, right? Look how amazing this content is on my fucking Instagram. Like, how did this not get me on? Oh, yeah. Like you're know. leaning over for a fart. <laughs> 
Is that on your profile? <laughs> Got him. Dot <laughs> A-I-F-F. <laughs> Let's hear it. Uh, Let's this is hear the it. Worst. This is the worst. <laughs> Got him. <he. laughs> Got him. He. <laughs> All right. Uh, we haven't done this in a while, but it is time for Bond of the Week. My pick oh, this shit. week for the next James Bond is Leslie Phillips, age 96. <laughs> Did, wait, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of Leslie Jordan. The name's Bond. Geriatric Bond. They wouldn't say that, right? Who is Leslie Phillips? I don't know. Who Leslie Phillips pitching is the like a Super Bowl actor ad or in the something. world. <laughs> 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 oldest working British actor in the okay. world, Leslie Phillips, man. All right, all right, Let's all take right. it Doctor Who style. Let's go old as fuck oh. to combat ageism, let's say. I assumed Doctor Leslie Who's was a woman, style? and I was going to say that's an interesting uh, interesting no. idea. Get Leslie's a, a man. Bond. Mm -hmm. um, the voice of the so sorting hat. So it's just hat. an old guy. Yeah, he's in Harry Potter. Not that's cool for him. Not um, my laugh bond of the at that shit, right? I laugh did. at that shit. There's no when way that good. didn't peak screaming the into worst. the mic. This I sucks. laugh. How Do about you let anyone British? else talk? Let's have Monchi take the fucking floor then, all right? I was trying to say hold my bond. Sound, hold for week. sound, hold for sound, hold for sound. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna just keep talking and I'm choosing my bond of the week is Charlie Cox. Daredevil himself. British man. W way more popular currently than <sighs> Leslie Phillips will ever be. <laughs> Daredevil has been charting on Netflix for weeks. I mean, he could have the look. I can see that. Um, how about a Charlie Day? That's really <gasps> cool. Man. That'd be fun. I, mean, he's I love playing a Charlie Luigi. Day. Luigi. He's going to be is Luigi in, in the Super Mario Brothers movie. What? You know, Chris Pratt is Mario. He seems yeah. like more of a Mario. Like, <laughs> Luigi's kind of tall and slender. Before the podcast, Ferris, like, so excitedly wide-eyed was like, did you know that there was this Beatles documentary <laughs> that came out like a month ago? And he just no, did that with the Mario Four stuff. months ago. <laughs> You got to get on dating apps, man. This is all anyone's ever talking about. Yeah, I'm on yeah. a five month delay, guys. It's, <laughs> I'm serious. It's really bad. I'm so for some late. for some added context, Ferris. The when that Mario movie was cast, uh, Kevin Porter, host of Gilmore Guys and Good Christian Fun, started yeah. tweeting that he cast. Uh, he was the casting director for it, and everyone believed him, and he got a ton of tweets. About how bad it was <laughs> that he did oh, that. He, he gathered a bunch of hate tweets. Like, yeah. he brought that upon... That's really... Yeah. Kevin Porter does some fun stuff on the internet. He, it's true. He does some... He's a funny guy. Yeah. He's good at stunt casting his life, creating <laughs> fun situations for him to get publicly lambasted <laughs> for the lulls slash clout. It's almost a performance art. I'm it jealous. Is. What yeah. would you do to get lambasted, Amir? Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to like, you know, for me, there is. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff direct messaged me. You suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> uh, it's a fine line because like I would love to get publicly shamed in a way, but at the same time, I don't want to take anybody else down with me. Like I'd hate for that residual hate to land on other headgummers and then suddenly you have to start making a statement and be like why are you friends with somebody that tweeted their support of x y or z you know mm -hmm. yeah don't acknowledge this message sorry Do you, it's it like covers the screen so i almost have to read it yeah <laughs> you've got to assume at this point in your career, anything you do is going to affect Jake and anything Jake does will affect you Yes. Right. That's right. I the goal Have is to be the last thought, person that has to distance themselves for the other. Would you ever even if it ruined if it tanks your career, would you mm -hmm. ever prank him by destroying his? That would be kind of interesting. Sort of like kind in a funny. I'm 
yeah, I'm taking you down with me style. Yeah. Um, It'd be like, flash mob in a way. Yeah. Be quite a turn. Quite a, quite a right, turn. Like a heel turn. Yeah. It's like a WWE. Which ultimately isn't good, but then it's like at the very least I'm feeling something new again. Like Feeling something is the point. Yes, exactly. As we like mm-hmm. enter year three of this pandemic, like even just the idea of being like turned into a enemy amongst many people's eyes, like, oh, that's a new exciting feeling that I can sort of try to navigate. That would make this March feel a little bit different than the last two. It's true. At least you wake up with something to, you know, not know about. What's yeah. today going to be like? Exactly. Be- Otherwise, you're just waking up and be like, oh, God, what time is it? How many hours until I can go back to sleep? I That's still like, have a successful career with that guy I really like and I'm best friends with. Exactly. Fuck. But at what it's cost? Fi- right. Sorry, Jeff it's is sending much. me a litany of texts at this point. Bump, bump, bump. There's a gif of... It seems Opka like bump. somebody... At some point, yeah. when you bump something too much, it's like you can't even go back to it, right? Right. It, bump it defeats the, the purpose, thing. right? <laughs> Opka bump. For solid. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll my bond mm-hmm. of the week are we there yet i'd say go Please, for it because yeah. jeff missed a perfect edit if you will mm. um i've been watching the hulu show the pam and tommy show which is kind of a new step for me i'm usually not on top of the latest television shows and i'm definitely not watching them live but i was able to watch the first three episodes of this one as it came out so i feel like i'm on the cutting edge of something which is kind of neat uh and i was really impressed with stan yeah i'm really impressed with that guy who plays tommy lee yeah um i guess he's a famous guy yeah yeah i I have a still getty or one of my favorite actors actually yeah uh he's great i'm excited to uh see more of him he's really good as tommy lee i don't know if you've seen that I haven't watched it yet. I keep no. forgetting that I've been, I feel like it's a thing that I've been waiting for for so long and then it came out and I just forgot it was a thing. <laughs> yeah. There's just a lot of things. Yeah. Sorry, what does that say? Uh, you, it's, it's his big time. You suck big time. I don't uh, know who that is though. Um, Sebastian Sands, great. So yeah, great he's actor. my bond. If he could do that, he could do anything. <laughs> yeah, I think he Another could. You I think suck. he could bond. Who are you talking to, Jeff? I think all of us at this point. It's a Kurt Angle reference. <laughs> and like <laughs> <laughs> throw Kurt Angle. You got him. You suck. I hope that made people happy. People were complaining that we haven't done Bond of the Week in like a month. Um, so shout out. It MGM. made me uncomfortable, but yeah, yeah for sure, sure. Like on the spot. Um, That's I'm gonna try to put more effort into these episodes um you know not take the listenership for granted and uh part of that means having some talking points for the wax segment not just having it be just nonsense you know uh so yeah. i have a bill of po- a what bless you wow <laughs> bless you uh epic we're, let's take a break, actually. We'll keep Forget that what I was saying. What? Forget it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, Ferris, should we do this thing? Yeah, by all means. Daddy, chill. All right. Uh, that last one was an accident. I'll round it out with... Um, let's do one that we haven't done in a while. Uh, so concerned all yeah. the wrinkles in your body are between your two eyebrows right now it's <laughs> unbelievable to see it thousands of wrinkles in one square inch <laughs> my god the rest of your body is probably literally skin tight as it furrows <laughs> feet and feet of excess skin right there in between your two eyebrows i mean my god Look at you. It's like gripping a partially deflated balloon and just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Squeezing the knots. Knots, knots, knots.
I think six months ago. Uh, Ferris, why don't you kind of intro this? So I did mention I'm on a five month delay. About five months ago, I said <laughs> I would do this USSR national anthem uh, cover. And I chose an insane time of my life to commit to something like that. But um, y'all kept me going and uh, <laughs> I chipped away at it little by little. And it's been an absolute blast. And um, by the time you're hearing this, it should be out on all platforms, except apparently iTunes. Because when I selected language, I selected Russian and it said, sorry, Apple and iTunes are not currently accepting Rush the Russian language. So well, <laughs> maybe try Spotify. But also that has its own issues. Not too. accepting the Russian language. I mean, look at <laughs> yeah. that. We're already international affairs is ruining the arts. All right. So this is a I teaser, if... I believe, Ferris. Yeah, it's it's a little um minute or so All right. clip of, of what's to come. Your cover of the USSR national anthem. Here we go. Russian for that? <laughs> I definitely learned the words to the anthem, yeah. Wow. That was easy. No, it was no. not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Way more work than I expected. That, that was incredible. Yeah, that was Thank crazy. You. Thank you. That's I hope a, it was seems like a real song, like a real a song you would hear in an elevator in Moscow or some shit. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I could, I could only dream of being in an elevator in Moscow someday. How many hours do you think? <laughs> how many hours do you think went into that altogether? Oh my God. I mean, just last week I spent four hours recording vocals because I I really, really, really needed to have a 24 man choir. You'll have to listen to the rest of the track to hear that part. But it's like a and that's 24 all you? man, like, yeah, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me like <laughs> yelling in my room 24 times in a row. Um, my God, that I did this weird saxophone stuff. You'll just have to hear it. Um, but uh, and but where yeah. can people find that under your personal Spotify? Is it Ferris yeah, Manchi? Just my full name. Yep. Yep. Hell yeah! And a good plug yeah. for your your music, which is also pretty fire. I I, I appreciate show. that. Appreciate that. As a side note, I don't think I will be ever going to Moscow. I think I may get in some that was it hot hot water with this. I don't know. Isn't it creating their national anthem? There's a, I think you did it justice. There, um, well, there's a secret message in the song too. Um, oh my god! You, you can hear it during the sax solo. It's more of a cry for help than anything else. But <laughs> keep it, keep an ear out for it. Do we have to know Russian to hear what it is? No, that's actually in full English. <laughs> okay. If you can, full we'll English it. breakfast. We'll put the link yeah. in the description. Absolutely, so we will. Appreciate it. that. Unbelievable Thanks, work, Ferris. Thank you, guys. I really it wouldn't how much exist time without that. this show. I mean, this show is the um, the kind of creative impetus for a lot of this weird shit I do. It is cool that somebody's working hard on the show. Yeah, it's nice to see that. I mean, 
definitely Welcome Ferris to and Grayson. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get everybody to kind of shut the fuck up for a second so I could say welcome to. to I work pretty hard on it too, also. Yeah, yeah. a bunch of people do. Yeah, definitely. Truck it though. Um, let me guess. We have to hear a noise of a thing, and it's either a truck or somebody saying fuck "truck it" or, or "fuck it." Yeah, something like that. Do you guys want to take like a twenty-minute break so that no. I can just no. retool this? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instantly. That's that Monchi shit because he's the only one who hears it as much as I do. Yeah. Yeah. Up, 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 solid. <laughs> it's a human soundboard. Um, yes. No, let's get fucking serious here for truck it. Uh, the New York Times okay. recently ran a story about how America's low on truckers uh, due to the stress, uh, physical deprivation, and loneliness that comes with the job. Uh, we're okay. seeing. What are we, <laughs> what are we seeing? <laughs> Thank you, Ferris. We're seeing high driver turnover <laughs> at rates of. Above 90%. Thank you, Marika, for active listening. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I did the same fucking thing. You stopped. You got <laughs> mad at me. <laughs> Marika wasn't active listening. She was laughing at you. I yeah, was actually was... inquiring to hear more. But yeah, <laughs> neither here nor there, I guess. Not enough truckers yeah. in America. Very sad. Very oh. good, Marika. Thank you so much for paying attention. Ferris, same thing. Can I speak, Amir? Are you gonna for it? <laughs> Go for it, man. <laughs> the sooner we finish, the sooner we can get the fuck out of here. We're seeing high driver turnover at rates above 90%. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Chris. Who gives Are a you shit? Are you kidding? Now I have to start that sentence over. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you finished it. You finished it, though. We are seeing rates above 90% of driver turnover for trucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep- Worst sentence. <laughs> this is all supply chain. There's not lack of interest. There's just a lack of good jobs. Are you reading a fucking essay? What are you doing? What? Are you- <laughs> There's no way that this is a marine <laughs> red. Namaste. You're speaking so unnatural. Supply Thank you guys chains. So much. Scrolls three paragraphs down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marika. and it's not Thank because you, of. Paris. Yeah, lack of jobs. It's <laughs> adequate access. Oh, I have um, an ad actually. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it, it, there's low pay. There's lack of respect. There's poor working conditions. There's the harsh demands physically of the job. And <laughs> that's not going to get truckers on the road. So I thought what we could do, Ferris and Marika, thank you so much, for uh, to get truckers back on the road is kind of pitch some ideas to you know shipping companies really uh of how to get interest back how to make the jobs good to have uh is that cool I'd... what happened where are you going are you on a fucking drone i touched nothing <laughs> and it's fucking going haywire on my ass <laughs> what the fuck was that all right i guess where this are is you? how we're I'm in an apartment. Is it this <laughs> usual spot that you've been in? I had to move. <laughs> why? Here he comes. It was always the comes. plan to move. Uh, I don't know why you're reacting this way. The um, plan was to move? Yeah, for February, for these last couple weeks. Not the fucking point. Thank you so much, Marika and Ferris, for your civility. Uh, Amir, there's room to grow in that regard. Uh, let's talk about... <laughs> How do we get yeah, truckers back on the road? I'd love an example of All what right. you're thinking about. Yep. So I was thinking we could make rolling. the trucks awesome. Right? So maybe like like imagine a fucking big rig with a jacuzzi. How sick is that? Mm. Can the driver use it? Yeah, because here's the thing. There's actually limits on how, how many hours truckers can drive to limit, uh, you know, injuries, accidents, etc. So they can't drive more than, I think it's 10 hours. It might be 11 uh, per day. So what do you do with, you know, the, the downtime before you go to sleep? Soak. Yeah. I feel like it would take up a lot of space in the cargo area. Water's right? really heavy. So that's yeah. something to consider, too. You're carrying around, like, sloshing water. That could actually affect the Next truck's idea. movement. 
Yeah, could uh, soak it the, could uh, cause an material. accident, maybe. What's your next idea? Seven figure salaries. Can't afford sure. that. Obviously. Who wouldn't drive for a milli? Right. Omili, 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 omili. Yeah. Yeah. They, so I think they that don't would make get a lot of truckers. I would truck for a million. Yep. Just for a year. Yeah. It could I think maybe like yeah, safer um, rest stop locations, like yeah. free hotels. Oh, that's um, a good idea. Like more hotels along highways that maybe have fewer stops. Mm-hmm. Especially, I like that. I think like, um, you know. I'm assuming it's still the case that fewer female drivers exist. True, correct. Um, because of safety. That's so. correct. That's correct. Mm-hmm. But I'm wondering maybe if maybe either in addition to or ideally instead of that celebrity visits. So you know how like celebrities will go to like you know visit sailors in the army, the marines. Yeah. Really, I like. What mm-hmm. if Mark Ronson <laughs> could meet a bunch? Of, oh, oh, oh. Amir is punching Jeff. Through the screen. <laughs> For those of you listening at home, <laughs> what if Mark Ronson could be a bunch him? of truckers? Why Mark Ronson? You're not gonna get fucking Madonna. You're not gonna get Harry Styles out the, there. You should get Harry Styles out there. That should be the goal. I think you could get a Mark Ronson. Uh, they're Who not is gonna that? Care. Uh, he's the like a music producer guy. Oh yeah. You think truck drivers care about a music producer visiting them? Fine, forget that one. What do you like, guys have? How do we get truckers? Marika moving? listed mm. off, sort of off the top of her head, five awesome ideas. Yeah. For your I'm dumb actually game. pretty knowledgeable about the trucker industry, surprisingly. Really? Oh, I mean, clearly, <laughs> yeah. based on what I said versus what you said, you said <laughs> put open water in a truck. <laughs> what if we could reroute the trucks to awesome cities? So instead of like West Texas border towns, uh, like you know, the driver would be in Miami. Where? Sorry, where? Miami. No. Have you ever been to Miami? Once, yeah. So How was it? It sucked. What? I hated it. But that's just me. Yeah. I don't like Mark Ronson either. But I, we're talking about truckers, not me. They don't like it. They wouldn't like. How Mark about Ronson. some augmented reality so the truckers can still truck to where they're actually supposed to go? But yeah. it can look like Miami. That's really good. Now we're thinking, what if instead of augmented reality, though, it's augdented reality? So it's basically like it's AR, but they're just driving through Ogden, Utah the entire time. Mm. That's a really good idea. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. I mean, my last idea, do you guys even want to hear it at this point? Sure. I think it's really good. Yeah. What about, you know, like, do you guys have Chase? Do you guys bank with Chase? I do. You know how like or no, can, I just have a credit card with them. Yeah, do you have the sapphire? Does that change things? Yeah, you have the sapphire. No, you know how you can get into certain account. lounges because you have the Chase Sapphire card. Like you <sighs> no, I have some, the Chase. I have the Chase Freedom. So I wonder if that uh, the Freedom is what we're talking about. That might not get you into sapphire lounges, but let's just yeah, say that you get certain VIP access with certain yeah. credit cards. I only get one percent cash back, so I'm not sure. Oh, if you this gotta maybe make sense. Yeah, you gotta get the sapphire. I, d- I don't three. have the checking and savings that you're asking us if we have. <laughs> and I don't I, either. But you can get you know three points on dining or travel with the truck. Tra- you know what's sapphire. not going to get truckers back on the road? This horse shit that just happened for the last twenty seconds, where you guys are waxing about credit card rewards. We <laughs> started it right. I just want to make sure we're on you're the, the same page. You're the one that was pointing man. out the lounges. Truckers only VIP access. Where? Motor Coach Ella. So that'd be oh. it. all artists that sing about highways, Rascal Flats, ACDC, etc. Life is a highway. That I learned that that the Rascal Flats was a cover. A of cover, the original yeah. song. Didn't know. Hated hated mm. when I learned that. The mm. Truck Dance Film Festival. It's all movies about trucks, like Duel, Thunder Why Run, Maximum this good? Overdrive. Why? Like. We're trying to get them jobs and you just want them to have reward. Why did you sign up for the Chase Sapphire card? Because of the rewards. I see. You're not just going to sign up for a credit card that has no rewards. I'm not going to get a job, or choose to go into a fucking field that's dangerous, deprivating. Why can't they just go to regular Coachella? Why does it have to be a trucker specific event? So you're saying like a like a trucker's VIP lounge at an already existing event? Mm, yeah. Right, because then it's not VIP if everyone at the event is the same status. Mm. 
Hmm. You make me a bad guest. <laughs> Which I've never said about any host before. You're you're more bad than I can possibly add to the show. You come yeah. in here with a negative attitude, and it just sort of you spend an hour poisoning us, and yeah. then you leave feeling and I better. Feel I guess like I I do so much work to like actually make sense of what you say on an any day basis. You feel uh, trained and that makes at the me end. feel crazy and she boring really does. somehow. Marika you're does poisoned. give you the benefit of doubt constantly right. which i can't yeah. can't i have to imagine is exhausting it's hard right? when it adds yeah. up i leave adds up. with fatigue mm. you tire me because you are a tire t-y-r-e the truck ba finals what's that it's an all trucker basketball championship <laughs> What yeah, about the Troskers? The Troskers. Hey, Troskers. we can't play this music over with. That was gold, man. <laughs> Again, Marika. The Troskers. No. At the buzzer. I don't see how that's different than the Truck Dance Film Festival, but let's hear it. You want me to t- say why it's better? <laughs> it's self evident. Forget it. It's the yeah. Troskers. I don't like seeing your garage band open. Um, do you guys remember? Do you guys know Wordle? Of course. We all. All we know. Got a two today. So, well, wow. You got a two. Got a two. You got a two Huge. on Wordle, right? Got a two on Wordle today. Huge if two. Well, this is Blurdle. Nice. Huh? So for the listeners, Jeff has his screen up to a custom Wordle and has just covered the block part with a preview window of a gray square. <laughs> uh, really high to tech stuff. Um... <clears throat> Do you guys want to play? Sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, sure. Right. Nice. Uh, nice. Let's, I have three combinations of this, so let's start with Marika. This is your this is your blurtle. So basically, it's wordle, but you cannot see what you're guessing or even what you're typing. Can you see All the right. results? Afraid not. Okay. So you just have five random guesses to get a word. Yeah, <laughs> and then after you guess all six, then you get to see if you got anything correct. All right. I'm going to go first word. Um, great. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what was so your first Jeff word today real, when you got two? Uh, it was black. Um, huh. Sort of interesting because I can't type on yeah. here. Yeah, you can't do yeah. it without us seeing it. Okay, I mean, what, what, you, what you, you could guessing? do. Yeah. What you could do is just, just not share um, your screen. Yeah, exactly. All right. So you, you shared your screen and that sort of re- defeated the purpose of the game. And yeah. you had to create a second layer on top of the shared screen. All right, here we go. Great. Great. If you just didn't do anything at G-R-E-A-T all. G-R-E-A-T or G-R-A-T? <laughs> G-R-E-A-T. All right. But now the problem is that I, well, I guess I can just guess whatever word that I want, but it's hard for me to keep track of what I've already guessed. Um, uh, do you want any hints? What? Oh, <laughs> doesn't that defeat the entire purpose of this game? The goal is to get the word. But I can't. <laughs> right. I can't right. know what words or what letters are correct. So That's what why hint it's hard. are you going to give me? That was a good guess. That's all I was going to say was the hint was great was a good guess. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with. Oh boy, um, it's too that actually works. <laughs> oh boy, um, faster. Tread. T R E A D. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go gripe. 
G R I P E. The create okay, interesting. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna go grips, G R I P S. Hmm. Um. I'll take it home with grits, G R I T S. <laughs> you you have one more guess. Oh. I, do you want one more hint? Sure. In the last five, you have guessed all the correct letters in the right places, but not in the right word. <laughs> not in the right word. I understand what he means. Like that's the sad the, part. The board horizontally, you have a green thing in all five things, but not all at once. Obviously. Can show you tell me board. what my? Just show her the board. No, at this that's point. Would be that nice would be to Wordle. Guess it. It's Blurtle. Oh, it's, I, it's like a grand reveal at the end where she can try to figure out what the word is. What were you my can do words? that after your sixth answer. What were my words? <laughs> your words are great, uh-huh. tread, gripe, grips, grits. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, all right, here's my question. Can, you, can I take a second to think about this? Because this could be, this would be crazy if I get this right yes yes you can so can someone else do theirs yeah we circle back to me yeah all right here we go uh ferris you're up my man (laughs) (laughs) that was the smallest token of esteem (laughs) to hear you say that meant nothing you're also Uh, gonna regret uh calling me that because I'm, i'm gonna be an awful guest for this i've never actually so this this is the this is the board i kind of get now i have to hide it yeah, yeah, okay. I kind of get the concept, but <laughs> the six, here I go. I guess zero six, practice. five letter words, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one way to do it, but yeah. I noticed what, based on what Marika did, though, you kind of want some similarities in the words. I don't know. We'll see. Only if you um, get letters right, which I cannot which give we don't you that know. information. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. All right. Five letter word. Um, solid. Solid. Um, let's say I will. Your first hint there is that that solid was anything but all of those were wrong. I didn't say that. I, well, yes, but oh. I, you know. oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Maybe it's uh, maybe, hmm. maybe they were all right, maybe they weren't. But well, let's try, guess. let's try, let's try water. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. Better, <laughs> okay. Let's say. Let's say waste. Mm. Let's do wacky. This is tough to see. (laughs) So it's going poorly. (laughs) I'm using sort of the Brownlee method here from whatever I could pick up from what she was doing. Um, it's completely blind. Let's take a Without the hints, this. it's nothing. There's no good or bad. That's why it's it, hard. It feels That's horrible. why it's And it's right. also like, <laughs> it's it impossible. could not be a, a real word, right? Like, that, this is right. one that Jeff... We're at the whim of a map. No, it's, oh, they're real words. That's right. your other fucking hint. You mm-hmm. guys suck. Mm-hmm. Ferris and Marika are the only people giving me anything today. All right, let's try... <laughs> let's try and I'm jeans. doing pretty well. Jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get in your headspace, man. Jeans. Right. <laughs> you have one more guess. Do you want to do the Marika style or give, give it some thought? I would say. What does that mean? You haven't oh, oh. told him anything. Yeah, of course I have nothing to go off of, right? Then let's not do it the Marika uh. style. Because Marika. <laughs> Marika's fucking close. It'll be interesting. I only, to see. I only know where one letter for sure is. <laughs> That's the problem. Ferris. You're nowhere close to it, so you might as well guess one more time. I just, uh, I might as well go fully random. Um, <sighs> no way. He gets it. This is crazy. He's going to say it. I'm sending it to him. Bumps. You're basically like saying, I'm thinking Bumps. of a number between one and 5,000. All right. <sighs> Bumps was the closest you had. Oh, it was so B, B and it, U. Oh, it was burnt. Oh, shoot. All right. Nice. That went pretty bad. Yep. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, this I... is what we're looking at. I'm gonna guess. Okay, here it is. Are you are you, are you sure you want to guess right now? Um. <laughs> Do you want one yeah. final hint? Do you want one final sure. hint, and then we'll go to Amir, and then we'll go to you to end it. Sure. Last hint is there is a double letter. All right. Or rather, there's a, re- a repeat letter in this word. Okay. Uh. All right. We're- <laughs> <laughs> Useful hint. <laughs> Um, all right, Amir, are you ready for Blurtle? Sucky. Sorry, give me one fucking second. Because, um, this weird thing happened where, uh, (laughs) the custom Wordle recognized my IP address, and this was the one that I tested it out on. Right. So, it says that you already got it right, which is incorrect. So I need to think of right now a custom word here. Okay. Give, it a fucking, give me a fucking second. All right. I got it. Um, all right. Now are you ready? Yeah. Let me just hang on. This is this is your board. And now yeah, I they're all the it. same board. You don't just <laughs> share it on share. <laughs> all right. What's your first word? Sucky? Badly. Hmm. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> Marika's by by the way, Marika's gonna fucking get this just based on your facial expression. <laughs> like you're seriously figuring this thing out. You're gonna get it. I feel like even if I you know don't that get now. it, once you see this board, you're gonna be impressed with yourself. Uh Amir, keep it going. Come on. <laughs> phone. As in phone it in. You don't do any work on this show. I don't like that some of these are, I feel like, are tired. Send a coded message. <laughs> For you are tired, and we grow tired of your games, which is my last word. Games. <laughs> if I need one more, how about loser? And that's that, right? It was oh. bears. Nice. <laughs> Well, I think yeah. I made my message, right? Badly. Toxic. Why'd you say badly? Because <laughs> this is how this segment's going. And then toxic? Because you are. Phone, because phoning it in. Yep, I already said that one. Tired, because I look at... The audience grows tired of you, yeah. Games seems positive to me. Games was fine, but ultimately you're a loser. At games. Yeah. <laughs> at <laughs> life uh, and at games. <laughs> Damn. That was ultimately a tough pill to swallow, but I think I'm going to go forth into the world and with this show week to week with that knowledge. That <laughs> oh, knowledge. <laughs> we love you for it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Marika, are you ready for this final guess? I think you might get it. Um. Do you want your final hint? Sure. I know I'm giving you like four hints, but I like, this word could have been, definition-wise, it could have been in one of Amir's guesses. Uh, is it trite? <laughs> what do you guys think based on just Jeff's face when you said I think that? I got a... Oh! oh shoot. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. That's oh, really wow. Funny. Grits was really close. This yeah. looks like someone actually playing. Yeah. Yeah. Because you could, if you just knew that the E was in it, you know, if Jeff made the game a little better. Yeah, I was looking at all of the words, or all of the words like lined up and trying to, I knew that the R had to be there because it was in every guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when you said there were two letters, or there was a repeat letter, I knew it could only be a T repeating or an E repeating. All right. So nice. Some things. It's kind of like a very nice English Sudoku. Yeah. And I assumed it wouldn't be treat because I would have gotten that like it would have been like tread was so close or whatever. Right. He would have freaked the fuck out. Yeah. 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 And so, guys, is the actual game of Wordle more like mentally fulfilling and satisfying than Blurtle? I yeah. think so. Because you Cause can like actually this figure one stuff felt- out. Yeah, yeah, this random. one kind of made me feel 
bad while playing it and then yeah. worse after. I feel right. good because I did get it right um, and like Maybe, thought about it a lot. But yeah. for you guys who didn't really have hints, uh, yeah, I can I can. I see only gave that it Marika be. hints because you were already so close that yeah, you might I, be able to have guessed it. And yeah. You did. Mm. Was this meant to be kind of like an art piece, like a challenge, Jeff? Like, is that what you wanted to get across was pain for the user? Because that's like <laughs> a that's... valid artistic decision, right? In your in your game design. But So if it's that, it was like a cool art piece? <laughs> and you would <laughs> you meant me? it? Yeah, a few. You... Then yes. But we know you But didn't. I think that's kind of how Jeff hmm. approaches a lot of things, right? Pain for the user is kind of his hmm. M.O., this is true. This is true. It it worked. I mean, you're getting... Those wrinkles are back. So wrinkly. So, so many. <laughs> how, how do you have that many muscles in your... Yeah. Like, at most, I can get one or yeah, two. Yeah, I can't. In my house growing up, you had to get good at being angry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sad beginning to a one-man show. <laughs> I would love to see Jeff's one-man show. Could you imagine that? I think this is it. You can call me daddy. Oh. What about Carson? Like late or the Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. But every time instead of the, him walking out to here's Johnny, it was him like kind of revealing an even darker corner of his past. <laughs> There's a small town in Reno that I'm never allowed back in. <laughs> I owe alimony to two other women other than my wife and she doesn't know. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> From age 9 to 12, I lived underwater. That was just fun. I live. <laughs> you want to know how I got these skills? <laughs> Johnny Carson is a fish for that. <laughs> Plugs. Ferris, what do you have going on? What do you want to point the people to? The floor is yours, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Ferris Monchi on Instagram. And yeah, look out for the USSR cover. Uh, probably everywhere you listen, but apparently maybe not Apple iTunes. But yeah, basically everywhere. Mm -hmm. Check it out. It should be out by the time of uh, by the time you're hearing this. Oh, yeah. Ferris Monchi across platforms. Uh, America. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Marie Kalon. Uh, some new headgum podcasts are coming out slash have already come out. Enemies, Lisa Traeger, that's out. Really fun. Check it out. Um, I think, I think when this comes up, at the very least, the Confronting Demons trailer with Meg Stalter and her brother uh, will be up. So watch or listen to that. Um, yeah, fun, yeah. fun stuff. She's funny, but productivity has never been in her strong suit. I don't like s speak to her character, right? It just took a while <laughs> to get the show off the ground is all. Uh, you don't know anything about <laughs> <laughs> the production schedules. <laughs> She's filming you a TV show. <laughs> yeah. You're not Come here. <laughs> And you never will be. <laughs> she bodies me on the retreat again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I would love. I hope that this one's boxing we have a basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> Amir, what do you uh, got going on? Not much. Punch right? up the jam is back. I was on an episode, and they let me yeah. punch up the jam with them. I am rapping mm. like a Beastie Boy in uh, a parody of Brass Monkey. Nice. Oh, yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Check it out. Very cool. It's at the end of my episode. Um, they also have Weird Al on an episode, so. Yeah. Correct. And the awesome. Complete Guide to Everything, another HeadGum podcast they were on. Great show. Punching shows up back. Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo. Nice. Um, we'll end it with this Super Bowl picks in two days from now. 
Um, who do we think won? Who is playing? Marika, without that mm-hmm. knowledge, sort of like Blurtle, why don't you just guess a team? The Seattle Seahawks. Mm, interesting. To win or just... Oh. Amir? Give me the Bengals to not only cover, but upset the Los Angeles Rams in a home Super Bowl. Bengals 33, forgot, Rams 27. I forgot the Rams are Los Angeles now. No. I hate that. Ferris? Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, man. I'll take uh, Bengals in five. There's only one game. I didn't mean in a five game series. What did you mean? Who's performing at the I halftime meant- show? In Dr. Five. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar. Incredible. That's going to be interesting. I'll tune into that for sure. Probably see some new movie trailers. That's fun. Mm-hmm. I used to do my taxes during the Super Bowl. That was my that's tradition. A f- that's a fun tradition, actually. Thank I can you. get behind that. Yeah. Recommend it. We're at uh-huh. fate. Jeff's face is back. That's like me going to the DMV on Christmas. Jeff, do you have anything to plug? <laughs> He's drooling or crying or something. <laughs> You're leaking, man. End the show. He's bloodletting. <laughs> he, he released the forehead muscles and all the fluids are just He's getting acupuncture. Coming out. He's getting Accutane. <laughs> My plug is... Uh... My hair plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Everyone knows. You can see it receipt. That was a HeadGum Original.